Okay guys, Jaxer here back again with another video and today we are going to be looking, investigating more into sim racing crashes and incidents. This is from the Sim Racing Steward subreddit page. Let's get straight into it. So this guy says it was his first win, new to sim racing. Let's see what the crack is here. Judging by the length of the clip, that's it. So I'm going to say it's a very ambitious overtake by this guy. Some would say a dive bomb, but then again, like in motorsport, like the only way you're going to get by someone is by forcing an issue. And forcing an issue is by putting yourself alongside them, seeing what they do. This car was actually, I don't have playback speed here, but they saw it and they, they moved left a tiny bit. So this car here is doing really well. They saw the dive bomb, moved left out of the way. Now, hey... If he was able to cover that kind of ground, that means this car could have broke later, or braked later. And, um, yeah, to be honest, he left the door open for him. No issue there at all. Really nice overtake. This guy says, last lap at Monza. He's the red Porsche. This looks rough. They're rubbing off each other. As we can see, this was record recorded with some of the best camera equipment going. I've been in this position many times, and I'm going to say it's the red car. This guy here. Because when you see a gap like this, okay, technically your spotter is saying car on the left, and if your spotter is saying that, you know their spotter is saying car on the right. But you know there's always going to be a dickhead that's going to close the door because even though the spotter says the car is there, like th right now, there's not a lot of a gap, and this car shouldn't really be going for it. Ideally, he's trying to get himself up here so he can let this car go, hey, you know, I'm here. You're going to move over left and we're going to take this side by side. Even still, I wouldn't be fighting this hard for the outside line of Ascari in Monza because this chicane that's coming, it's it's really hard to win. But now nobody wins. So I'm going to say it's the red car going for a gap that just ugh, was closing, wasn't really there. He's no better, though, for closing the door when he knew someone's finger was in it. OK, so next up, am I in the wrong? He could have backed out. Let's see what this is. I never watched these, by the way, ahead of time. I like to watch them and just sort of say my thought process at the same time. Now this, he has a serious amount of overlap here. There's a lot of uh, more speed than the cars around him. That's what I mean by overlap. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm guessing here he knows car left. That's what we have to go by is the spotter. You know, car on your left, he has car on your right. There isn't room for three wide here. Him moving over to the left doesn't help. Probably was going to try box him in if he was. That's all well and fair. He should have lifted. But, like, trying to go for this gap here, there was nothing there. Um, oh, yeah, he let him know what he thought about that. Fair enough. And, uh, yeah, that car is toast. Oh, I'm going to say he's not the wisest for moving off. But then again, I'm not going to say I've never tried to box anyone in before. So this move, he probably was hoping he'd move a bit more to the left. He was probably hoping this car be a bit more to the right or at least stay in that line. He probably thought a, a lane was going to open up for him. And once he was in, they would have moved and given him space. But So the person who posts this is this car. It's their POV. Are they in the wrong for overtaking on the right? we we'll have to see what they mean about that. Well, this is spicy. Car's gone on the left. No issue. He's clearly alongside. That's really messy. And we're just going to pause it here. Right now, this is all well and good. This car couldn't try any harder. They're on the white line. They couldn't try any harder. And they stay on the white line. Now, they come out left a little bit. They're still on the white line. What is this car doing here? This car starts out here. And he starts tracking in. As weird as I'm going to say it, it's probably just a racing incident. This guy, lack of experience or lack of skill, he just thought there was more room on the right. He didn't think that this guy had given him everything he already had to give. So he probably wanted to push it a little more to the right because he probably couldn't see it. And for that... They're both dead. So someone here asks, why did they get rear-ended? 
This is an interesting one. This is like driving on a road, isn't it? You know? Even if the person in front of you slams on the brakes, it's like, oh well, you should have been going at a proper speed that you could have slowed down and left the correct distance, but there's a good distance here. Safety car's gone in. These cars are starting to pull. Green flag, I don't know when green flag shows. I think green flag shows on the checkered, but everyone's starting to go and this guy's going backwards, so yeah. I think it's this guy's fault for braking, obviously, is a stupid move. He should have been much closer to this car. It's also this guy's fault for not anticipating it. You know, he has brake lights. Could have seen it, but he didn't, so. Fuck. So this guy says he's the POV car, which is this car. He says he got in an incident, but is he in the wrong? Oh, that's an interesting one. That's a really interesting one. Okay, guys, stop what you're doing down into the comments let me know what you think about this because my opinion is just an opinion I'm gonna say an opinion and I want to see if you agree with it my opinion is this car can't I'm gonna go to strong word here can't be here it's not right he should be on the racing line which is over here people who try and pinch people into a corner because by this logic he could just keep pinching them up until he's here and then the car has to slow down to zero, lock up, or kill him. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't work. He's just trying to pinch him, or defending an imaginary car. Where this car assumes he's, this car is going to get back onto his racing line. You know, racing works like a dance. you got to have a rough idea of what the other person's going to do. He should be here. That car should be there. Simple as. And then he would have went around the outside here, came up here, and this car would have got the switch back. Pretty uh, pretty rough, but I'm going to say this car should be over to the right, and uh, you know you can't be squeezing cars like this. This isn't the worst example I've seen of this. Sometimes you can have people start out on the right, and then they start moving over. That's a whole other kettle of fish now. That's bang out of order in my books, but what do you think about this? It looks like he was just picking a line. If anything, this car could have backed out, went over to the right, and jumped down the outside. That could have probably led to a Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen style crash, but... I think it's this guy. This guy was only doing what he could. And it was fairly unnatural what he was doing. So when he moved a bit over to the right, I really don't think he expected him to be there. But at the same time, he could see him. I'd hope he could see him. And if he's playing on a telescope, well then, that's his fault. Okay, this next person says, four-way battle for P1, last lap of the race. Whose fault is it? I'll be the judge of this. Green car. Could have lifted. You could look at this for too long and you could draw up all kinds of conclusions, but usually it's the most simple one. Yeah, he braked. Give it to him, he braked, but he had a chance here. He had a chance to just lift. This guy wasn't lifting, so if he would have lifted, he would have decelerated a little bit. He didn't lift. Did he survive it? No, no, he got the karma for that. <laughs> None of them did. This guy... So in this clip, the Porsche insists that it's this guy's fault. Let's have a look. Or sorry, this guy is the poster. Oof. That's a messy one. This corner, this corner gets pretty sharp pretty quick. At the same time he turned into him. There was space the whole way around the outside. It wouldn't have been nice, but no, nah, there was space. This is just a poxy racing incident. He was a bit to the right, he was a bit to the left. Racing incident. This next one is called Fair Move or Push to Pass. Ooh. Okay, there's a bit to unpack there. Let me see. He left space, he's willing to take the off track, but two wheels are on the track, so now they're alongside. They're alongside. This car does need to move out. I don't think it's a push to pass because he didn't send them. Like, he wasn't sent out to Mars. There's a bit of contact, but in these Mazdas, you know, it's racing. Contact's going to happen. He left the gap. This guy jumped up, but, you know, wheels in the grass and all that kind of stuff. He had to get back on track. 
he knew he was on the left so something was going to happen either a 0x or either a big steer to the right but I say um, spicy racing alright so interesting one here it says whose fault is this obviously they're all called that but LMP2 cars on iRacing so these guys are like psychopaths flying around no offense to psychopaths out there but mm, this is a very similar clip to the one we had earlier on do you see it overlap normal speeds ish relative to the car spec it's a carbon copy of earlier on trying to make a tree wide in a way where this guy's moving left this guy's not all the way over if anything he came out right just like an inch the oh, poor gt3 got hurt oh he got to keep going both cars got to keep going how you think i see you what are you doing when you were in my blind spot t what who said that is that the guy's response to him what do you think you're doing no never mind this is dylan you were in my blind spot mm, yeah but he wasn't before you put him there and to put him there you must have known where he was assuming maybe we're not sure if that's him in the chat but it's the red car the red car is just wildly aggressive in multi-class racing you have to be you have to be prepared to share the track and i think these are two different classes this is gtp this is lmp2 so what he was doing coming up this side he should have lifted came back and went up the inside he would have got both of these cars I don't fully understand it so I'm going to put it down on the prototype car as well as the rules are the faster car it's up to the faster car to make the safe pass so yeah red car don't so who's at fault here the Merc said the Ferrari clipped them I'm not even going to comment. These guys should go to Mazda's and just work their way back. Okay, so to wrap it up, last clip of the day. Is there an incident here? That's what this is called. Is anyone at fault or is this just normal? That's what the post is. Not my post. I like when they're called this because it's usually something fucky. <laughs> is that the clip? There's more, but different angles i would have liked the cockpit cam but like whatever yeah so the scooby-doo car bum draft you should stay on the right two two that's how it works he knew there was a car on the left you know what i'm just gonna drive out and fit out through this gap they saw this gap here they thought they could fit their car through see ya that's ridiculous that's just stupid so yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. This has been another investigating uh, sim racing crashes, incidents, and just some some pretty funny, stupid moments. So I like going over these. I'd like to do these more regularly because they just keep coming. That's the best thing about it. Sim Racing Stewards has so many things we can just look at, pick apart. And the best thing is we can all learn off it together. So come here. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment, say hi. I'd like to say hi back. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.